So we'll now look at the area of this shape. So working now the area. And we'll start off with the first one. So we'll add together the area of the square and the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle is worked out by base times height divided by 2 or a length times width divided by 2, however you want to call it. So I'll go 5 times 3.5 divided by 2. So 5 times 3.5 divided by 2 gives us 8.75. I will add to that the area of the square, which is 5 times 5 equals 25. So 8.75 plus 25 will give us 33.75 meters squared. Now the next shape is made of a rectangle, which we can work the area of by multiplying 4 times 7. And then the circle, so we've got two half circles together which make a full circle, so we'll get the area of the circle first. So we've said the area of the circle is found by multiplying pi with r squared. So 3.142 times the radius is 2, 2 squared, which is 4, so 3.142 times 4 gives us 12.568, so 12.568 will add to that 4 times 7, which is 28, so 28 and 12 is 40, so this is 40.568 centimeters squared that's the area of the whole shape now looking at the other one it's made of half a circle and a triangle so the area of the circle again we said we find by multiplying pi r squared so 3.142 times r squared r is 5 half diameter um, 5 squared is 25, so we go 3.142 times 25, which is 78.55, but this is not a full circle, so I'm going to have to halve that now. So divided by 2, that gives us, so 78.55, divided by 2 equals 39.275 that is 39.275 so this is this area now we've got to calculate the area of the triangle which you said is base times height divided by 2 so base is 10 height is 6 so 10 times 6 divided by 2, that is 60 divided by 2, that gives us 30. So we'll add 39.275 plus the 30 that we have for the triangle. That makes now 69.275. Centimeters squared. So if we have different units, we'd have to convert them first before calculating. So we didn't have that in this case, all of them were centimeters, so the output was in centimeters as well. Now, looking at the final shape, we've got half a circle, so we'll need to work out the area. And when we're looking at area, we just look at the surface area of it 
we're not looking at the outskirts so we don't need to really calculate this but all that I mean so that doesn't mean any difference because when we looked at perimeter we had to separately work out the um, circumference and then add that length but in this case all we have to do is work out the area of the half circle so let's work out the area of the full circle and then halve it so we go area is pi r squared so we go pi is 3.142 times r in this case 6 6 squared is 36 so 3.142 times 36 gives us 113.112 and this is for the full circle so half of it will go 113.112 divided by 2 equals 56.556 meters squared because we've got meters there so to summarize when we looked at the perimeter it was a case of just going around the shape no matter what and so all we had to do is work out the perimeter of the shape by adding the sides and when it was a circle we'd have to look at the circumference and a triangle again we're looking at the sides that are outside of it we're not looking at the one inside whereas when it came to area all we did was looked at and worked out the area of the shapes that made the compound shape the simple shapes that made the compound shape